um, Lisa Owens. Okay, and what school? Uh, Center College, cross country and track and field. Okay, and uh, what award did you win today? Um, I won the men's and women's uh, college track coach of the year and the women's uh, college cross country coach of the year. Okay, great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a bit about your um, seasons this year? We've had a pretty good season, which um, last track season was one of the best ones we've had on our men's and women's sides. Um, our men came away with the SAA Conference Team Championship, which was a hard-fought battle. Um, our women were second, but our conference is a, one of the toughest conferences in Division Three. So we were pretty pleased with that, and we had uh, several national qualifiers um, last spring. And this fall, uh, we had a good showing as well with our teams, and we took uh, three national or three individuals to nationals, and um, fared very well there as well. Okay. All right. Um, can you um, tell us a bit more about your background as a coach? Um, this is my 19th year coaching at Center um, as the head men and women's cross country and track coach. So it's uh, going going on 20 years span of coaching. Um, have been blessed with a good amount of success, and um, I think we've taken uh, 48 kids to the national championships in my time here, and we've had uh, 14 All-Americans, and uh, we've had a pretty good run of it. So we're very excited about what's to come this spring uh, with our men's and women's track team, and that gets going here next week. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, can you um, tell us a bit about some of your uh, star athletes? Yeah, um, going into the spring, we we have a sophomore uh, female pole vaulter, Sarah Hayhurst. She qualified as a freshman for nationals last spring. Um, she's wanting to break 13 feet in, in the pole vault, which will definitely make her an All-American and give her a run at the national title. Uh, Victor Pataki, he's a senior distance runner of ours. Uh, he's coming off cross-country nationals. His best finish there. Um, he's trying to make nationals on the 3,000 steeplechase. Uh, he missed about less than a second last year, so he's kind of with a vengeance this year trying to make it uh, there. But um, we've got several athletes that have good chances of breaking school records and you know, making it to the national championships. And of course, both teams are trying to win the conference team titles, so that's going to be a treat. Okay, all right. Um, what type um, are there some major events or major meets that will be hosted by Center this year? Yes, we do have two. Um, April the second, Saturday, April second is our Center Invitational. This is actually our fiftieth annual Center Invitational, so we're going to do it up big and right. Um, then Friday night, April the fifteenth, we host the Center Twilight Meet. Uh, both meets are shaping up to be very large, very competitive meets of teams of all divisions. So uh, we're excited about both of those. Okay, all right. And um, it's come to our attention that um, Center also hosts a major event for um, track and field athletes um, every year um, that involve Olympians. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, uh, this coming June the 8th through the 11th will be our 6th annual Maximum Velocity Track and Field Academy. Um, it's considered the premier track and field, high school track and field uh, camp across the country. We have 10 Olympic athletes that will be clinicians this summer. Uh, some big names and uh, the, the campers have had a lot of fun in the past and we hope for this to be our best camp ever. Okay, alright. Um, <clears throat> are there um, any uh, people who you idolize coming up as an athlete or as a coach? In the college ranks or the high school ranks? Um, either. Well, Jackie Joyner Kersey, of course, was always my track idol, which um, is one reason that we started the, the Maximum Velocity Camp uh, in the first place. But um, there's so many wonderful track and field athletes. And working the camp and having the camp at center um, has made me appreciate and respect these Olympians so much, um, not just for the work they put in, but just for their attitudes and the humble nature and um, <clears throat> the giving back that they have for the kids. Um, the Olympians that work our camp are just that they want to teach, they want to give back, and they want to make people better. And so um, I can I, I could name off a lot of uh, names, but as far as track and field athletes, cross-country athletes, uh, some of them that have worked my camp have become those, those idols for sure. Okay. All right. Um, is there anyone in particular or any people in particular you'd like to thank? Um, well, first off, my family. Um, coaching is uh, tends to be a male-dominated world, so... Being a mother of, of two young kids and um, trying to coach four teams essentially is not an easy thing, but I've got a wonderful husband that's uh, been a Mr. Mom from day one, and he's, he's really helped me be able to, to do what I do and, and do what I love. So uh, having a family that understands is, is very important, and I appreciate them for sure. And, um, of course, God has always been first and foremost in my life, and he's definitely uh, why I am where I am today. And there's no doubt that he has a purpose behind everything, and he has a purpose behind me being at center. 
Okay. And we would be remiss, um, uh, most people who know anything about athletics know that no head coach <laughs> does everything by his or herself. And so, um, can you also tell us a bit about your coaching staff? Absolutely. I'm very blessed to have a wonderful coaching staff. Um, Edwin Hagens, he's my right-hand man. Um, he's my full-time assistant cross-country and track coach with both men and women's program. Um, just a, an amazing person, um, a wonderful Christian man. Uh, very knowledgeable, very technical, and just very dependable. So, um, he's he would be the main one that I would thank for that. And then, of course, my brother, um, he's our throws coach. and. Um, we have several assistants that come in part-time and work with our teams, and our teams would not be what they are today if it wasn't for the culmination of everyone's efforts, for sure. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, All Coach, right. and good thank luck you. in the upcoming season. All right. Thanks so much.